welcome to story time. Today we're going to be reading this really silly book called How Big Could Your Pumpkin Grow? This book is written and illustrated by Wendell Miner, who's the same person who wrote and illustrated Pumpkinhead that we read earlier this week. So this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. Let's get started. Oh, I see the color orange. This is the title page. How big could your pumpkin grow? The pumpkin farm, we pick the perfect pumpkin. Some are little, some are big, and some are giant sized. Oh, I'm excited to see the giant sized pumpkin. Giant pumpkin festivals are tons of fun. Will the biggest pumpkin set a world record? Wow, look how big this pumpkin is. It has to be picked up by some sort of truck, some sort of pulley, because people can't even pick them up on their own. What can you do with an enormous pumpkin? Carve into a boat and race in the regatta. Row, row, row your boat. Friends, this is a real event that happens in Vermont. People actually take pumpkins and they carve into it and have a race. The legendary Paul Bunyan and his blue ox, Babe, were giants too. They like to think big. If they gave you giant pumpkin seeds, how big could your pumpkins grow? Well, look at the kid. Look how big the kid is and compare it to the size of the pumpkin. That's how big Paul Bunyan and Babe are. They're super big. <gasps> Would it rise as high as hot air balloons at the fall fiesta fair? <gasps> wow, this is a real event that happens in New Mexico in Albuquerque. People actually have huge balloons that take to the air and even a pumpkin balloon. Wow, that pumpkin is really surprised to see all those balloons in the air, isn't it? Wow, can your pumpkin beam as bright as the lighthouse at the beach? Wow. <gasps> your gigantic pumpkin could glow like the skyscrapers. But watch out, horns will honk on the bridge when it, when it blocks traffic. Beep, beep. Wow, look, this pumpkin is covering the bridge. And this is actually the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. This pumpkin has taken over the bridge. They do things big in Texas. Would your giant pumpkin be boss in a jumbo cowboy hat? Whoa, look at this. This is the historic spindle top oil fields near Beaumont, Texas. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, is your pumpkin a hungry monster gobbling riders on the tallest, fastest roller coaster? Look at that pumpkin. It's, it's gobbling the roller coaster. This is actually the tallest roller coaster in Six Flags Great Adventure Park in Jackson, New Jersey. Imagine if your pumpkin was too immense for hide and seek and it couldn't even hide. This is the Capitol in Washington, DC. Look how it's trying to hide behind the Capitol, but is it working? Nope, I think the witch on the broom can see the pumpkin very, very clearly. Perhaps your mighty president could grow up to be president. Wow, this is Mount Rushmore and it looks like the pumpkin is trying to pretend that it is one of the presidents that are carved into Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Would your stupendous pumpkin make a super splash atop a towering waterfall? Look, this is a waterfall, a waterfall, but it looks like the water is coming out of the pumpkin's mouth. That is so cool. This is actually in Yosemite National Park in California. Three, two, one, blast off! Wouldn't your astronomical pumpkin smile 
to see a rocket zoom into space. Whoa, that is so cool. This is in Florida and the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Could the most colossal pumpkin fill the Grand Canyon? Mm, look at that. It's totally inside the Grand Canyon. And the stream from uh, the Grand Canyon is going into the mouth of the pumpkin. That's so cool. Isn't it fun to imagine giant pumpkins everywhere you go? The end. And here's a picture of a baby pumpkin and a big pumpkin. This is the author and illustrator. This is Wendell Miner right there. Oh, do you see the giant pumpkin behind him? Do you think that's real? Do you think it's made up? It might be made up. So this book was called How Big Could Your Pumpkin Grow by Wendell Miner. Thanks, friends, and I'll see you next time.